I was three and a half years old when my family left Vietnam. After the war, we lost everything. The only way for the South Vietnamese people to leave the country was to pack themselves in these little fishing boats and sail out to sea. The estimate is that one out of two people who flee Vietnam as refugees, as boat people, died at sea. We were attacked by pirates. Fortunately, we survived that attack, but our boat had no engine, no fuel, no water, no food, and we just drifted out there. We all suffered. Uh, some people died. The women on board the boat started talking about maybe drowning their children to end the suffering. This was a time when C-Suite found us. How long have they been drifting? 10 days. 10 days. They've been drifting 10 days? Yes, yes sir. They were out to uh, provide assistance to refugees, but they did, were not authorized to pick us up on their boat. But after seeing our desperate state, Sam Mooneyham and the captain of the ship decided that they cannot just look the other way. I know what decision you're gonna make. You'll make right. the same one I'd make. Okay. But I'm gonna let you make it because you'll have to make all the others. All right, take them aboard. Go! Oh. You know, when, when I think about where I am today, I've been happily married to my high school sweetheart, Liesel. We've been married for almost 20 years now. We have four children. I went to Harvard College and Harvard Medical School. I'm a dermatologist who specializes in skin cancer surgery. It really is just mind-blowing because statistically, I shouldn't be alive. I could pinpoint it down to that first action of just unconditional love. And it was because of that that eventually my mother came to accept Jesus Christ as, as her Lord and Savior, and all 11 of my parents' children have done so as well, as well as their 25-plus grandchildren. For the rest of my life and all of my major decisions, I have to remind myself any major decisions that I make could potentially lead to saving someone's life. I realize that to live a life of comfort is not enough. I feel that we have to do more. We first started by writing a check to sponsor um, a, a project in Cambodia, and we eventually uh, were invited to go visit the project that we're sponsoring in Cambodia, which was to help vulnerable children being trafficked. I had read about it, I knew the statistics, but when you encounter them for the first time, it was where I was personally humbled. We were broken, but it was in our brokenness that we fell in love. You know, and, and I can imagine that that was probably what Stan Munahem felt when he saw my family in the boat out in the middle of the sea. So when we came back from Cambodia, we just felt that we had to do more. At this point, it was just me. I was the only doctor in a little medical practice. We decided to grow uh, so that our impact could be magnified. Lisa has a background in business. I have a background in dermatology, and we've been able to serve the vulnerable through using our skill sets. Through our practice, we're funding a project in Cambodia to help vulnerable children. We're also investing in economic development in Rwanda. We launched Clara Medispa, which is a cosmetic arm of a medical practice. And all of the proceeds benefit women and children overseas. We've added more offices so that we can serve the poor here locally. One of the core values that we have is impact. And all of our staff members here know that. We talk about how we want to make an impact on our patients on our community and the world at large. And so it's exciting because we know that the community will be better off and we hope that the world will be better off because of the growth of our practice. 2,000 years ago, there were tax collectors and fishermen who did wonderful things to help the poor. And I believe that we could do it today as a dermatologist, as a doctor, as a lawyer, as a teacher, 
anywhere you are. Don't wait. Take that first step. And once you can experience it, it gives you purpose to everything that you do. It gives you purpose to your work. That's the joy of taking that step.